Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna review the new Nidecker Escape. It's a new board for their line. It's a little softer and more playful all-mountain freestyle board. This board is available in 152, 156, 159, 159 wide, 162 wide, 162 extra wide, 165 wide, and 165 extra wide. Yes, that is a ton of size options for you. They are covering the spectrum. This board features a mellow cam rocker to it, which basically means traditional camber into a rocker zone in the tip and the tail. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was kind of just, man, it was slightly overcast. There was a little bit of fresh snow. There's a lot of groomers. It was a little colder. You know, really wasn't any day that just stood out as being awesome or bad. It was just another fucking day. I rode it with my K2 Indies and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board comes in at around a middle of the road flex, and I use that loosely. It's probably just a little bit underneath that. You know, you got more play out in the tip and the tail there, so it's kind of what you expect. A lot of torsional flex to it. The board's moderately stable. I mean, you're gonna notice some chatter out in those rocker zones in the tips. They'll be flapping at you at high speeds, and it'll resonate a little bit underfoot, but not a whole lot. It's not the dampest board I've been on. It's also not the liveliest. I would say that this board tends to be a little bit more lively than damp, so you will feel a little bit more vibrations underfoot. The snap and pop in this board is okay, and by that I mean it gets the job done. It's not anything to write home about. You do have to load it up from that camber zone but that engages that rocker area, so you get a little more pop right out of that section, right where the camber blends into the rocker. It's more like a skate style pop to it. It's not overly aggressive, it gets the job done. To be honest, I didn't hit any jumps with it, but I wouldn't be afraid to send something that's like 25, 30 feet with it max. Probably wanna keep it around that 15 to 20 foot range on it. It boosts side hits well, so that's kind of what my gauge was. It's it's still preseason out here in Colorado, so we really don't have a lot of jumps set up yet. And, and frankly, my knees are kind of fucked, so I just didn't feel like hitting some side hit at Mach 10 speeds and seeing how far I could send it. Here's the thing. There is an immense sweet spot in the tips, like right where that rocker zone is. It just perfectly blends the flex right in there, so you can lock into butters, jibs, whatever you need. And then it's got traditional camber between the feet, so if you get sideways on a rail, it's gonna lock in. Basically, this is like a affordable all mountain quiver of one type of board for someone. So it's gonna be playful in the park and it's gonna be solid in jumps and you're gonna be able to ride the whole mountain with. It's not mind blowing, but it doesn't suck. As this is a Nidecker board, the side cut is fucking dialed. Can't stress that enough. You wanna do short, quick turns, go for it. You wanna do a long drawn out carve, go for it. Basically, this board will grip and rip and do what you need it to do. That's the one big thing you need to know about Nidecker boards. Their side cuts are dialed. So who's this board for? It's definitely for someone that wants an all-mountain freestyle board that's a little bit on the softer side, something that's going to be forgiving and playful. All right, so I know some of you are probably saying, Avery, you rode a 152. Yes, I did. That's the size they had available. That's what they gave me. I definitely overpowered it. I'm just getting that right out of the way. I know where this board should sit. I should have been on a 56 in the smallest, but 52, I can ride it. I know how it works. You know, it's not a bad board. It kind of reminds me of riding like an old flow era or something in that nature, you know, where it's still playful, but you can take it around the whole mountain, butter around, play with it, go out and do it. It's kind of an affordable quiver of one type of board, as I've already said, and that's where I stick with it on this board. It doesn't suck. It's not mind blowing. It's just, it's solid. It gets the job done. Comparable boards, the Rosnal Jibsaw, the Ride Machete, the Rome Blackjack, the Yes Libre, the Capita Outer Space Living. Those are all boards that I would put on the same page as this deck. This has been my review of the Nidecker Escape. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you own it? Leave me a comment down below and let's have a conversation. Let's see where this world takes us. Let's get weird. Really, really weird. 
If you're new around here, remember to subscribe, click that bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing anything that we have going on over here for you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us, check out Angry Snowboarder VIP. There's perks like stickers, behind the scenes contents, Q and A's, and it's a great way to support us and keep us creating that content that you know and love. And believe me, we are making a ton of content. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.